Hello, I'm Pastor Rachel Sanchez of River of God here in Ortigas, Manila, Philippines. I was asked to exhort on worship. As you know, worship is a happening. It's a time where we glorify God with our voices, with our hearts, and with our whole being. Worship is an expression of life, and this is expected from all of the believers. We express our love for God through singing and dancing. And you know what? There's so many other avenues of worship. It could be through your tithes and offerings. That's worship. It's coming from your heart. And worship is also your walk is worship to God. Worship can be also expressed through your talk, the way you carry yourself and talk about God. So really, what is worship? You know, we can see this in John 4, 20 to 24. Let me read this to you. Our fathers worship on this mountain, and you Jews say that in Jerusalem is the place where we one ought to worship. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on it this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. We know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jews. But the hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. You know, Jesus is talking to a Samaritan woman. In verse 20, our fathers worship on this mountain, and you Jews say that in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship. But Jesus said to her, woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. So Jesus is talking about location. The issue here is the location. So the question is, where do we worship? And the answer is anywhere. Wherever the Holy Spirit leads you, you can worship anywhere. It could be here, it could be outside, it could be on your way home, you could be in your car or in the bus, you know, or in your secret place. Worship is anywhere. The other question is, how do we worship? Pagans do not know. Unbelievers do not know how to worship God. So Jesus was telling the Samaritan woman that you do not know how to worship, but we, the Jews, we know for salvation is of the Jews. So could, do you see this? The question is, how do we worship in spirit? That's what Jesus says. You know, this is what Jesus is saying to the Samaritan woman. Because you are a pagan, because you are not born again, you're not a believer of Jesus Christ. You cannot worship in spirit and in truth. So the question is, how do we worship in spirit? First, I will tell you, you must be born again. I believe many are believers are listening to me right now. Worship happens in the supernatural realm. Praise God, you are a believer. But if you're not, this is an opportunity for you to know Jesus. Yes, you know, we are in the physical realm right now. But the person we're worshiping is in the supernatural realm. He is a supernatural being. Therefore, we need to be in the spirit realm when we worship. When you are born again, your spirit man is regenerated. And the Holy Spirit lives inside you. During worship, the Holy Spirit connects our spirit man to the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit creates a meeting. He creates a fusion. He creates a, a connection. Our spirit man is intertwined with the Spirit of God. And that's how beautiful worship is. There is a divine intimacy that happens when you worship in the Spirit. If you're spiritually dead, you cannot worship God. You must be born again. You need to be alive spiritually first. And it's the Spirit of God that gives life to you. So praise the Lord. If you are a believer, you can worship in spirit and in truth. 
Second, you have to understand God is a spirit. So amazingly, in the supernatural realm, you can taste, you can smell, you can hear His voice, you can feel Him, and you can even see Him in the spirit. All right, and you can hear His voice. You know, God is a spirit who doesn't have flesh and bones. That's why you can worship Him anywhere. You can worship Him anytime. And this is what God is trying to, Jesus is trying to explain to the woman at the well. God is omnipresent. And He sees and He hears us anytime, anywhere. Since we are in the natural or the physical realm, God and God is supernatural. It is very hard to adore and worship someone you do not see. But praise the Lord, if you are born again, you are spiritually alive. And through the help of the Holy Spirit, you can connect to the living God. Aren't you happy about this? So the question is, how often we can do this? Anytime you want. Anytime. You can worship. And how do you worship? With your whole being. With your whole being. Your heart, your eyes, your ears, your mouth, your entire faculties engaged in everything that you're doing. You got to worship Him in spirit. Everything should be 100% surrendered to the living God. Amen? No distractions. Turn off your cell phone. Focus on Him. That is how you worship in spirit. The Holy Spirit will connect you. Amen? And so this is so important. The question is, how do you worship in truth? Jesus says, worship in spirit. If you're born again, you can do it because you're now spiritually alive. But how do you worship in truth? You know, I said easily, you got to put yourself 100% engaged in order to have a true worship. Some people worship in spirit, wherein they put their whole being passionately engage but not in truth so what is, is is it to be in truth you know how do you worship in truth first you need to have a sincere heart that is how to worship in truth sincere means heartfelt no pretensions no deceit pure worship it's not defiled everything that means you really come and want to draw close to the Lord. You want to be there. You really mean it. It's authentic. Your worship, it's intentional. You're doing this because you want to really touch His heart. You really want to worship God. That is to be in truth. It's authentic. You are passionate because you're doing it. It's true. It's coming from your heart. That's how it is. You need to worship in truth. To be authentic before the Lord. Amen? I want you to understand, brothers, my time is so limited, but you have to understand that Jesus, John 14, verse 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father except through me. So, brothers and sisters, Jesus is the truth. Jesus is living inside you. The Holy Spirit is inside you. If you have Jesus, you have the truth. Jesus is all that you need. Do you worship in truth? Is your worship genuine? Are you authentic in your worship? Is your worship all about Jesus? Or do you want to draw attention to yourself? This is a warning for all of us. We need to draw close to God. We don't want people to draw close to us if you're a worship leader. You want people to worship the living God intentionally, passionately, in spirit, and in truth. Real worship is from the spirit that is within you. Worship must be a wholehearted devotion. Emotions and thoughts focus on the living God. I will close in this and I just want you to really mean it this time. So that's my short exhortation. I wish I had more time, but you know what I'm talking about. 
because the Holy Spirit who is living inside you will help you. God bless you, brothers and sisters, and may you truly worship the living God through Jesus Christ who lives in you. Amen.